Hey, it's Jake Mace, the vegan athlete. I'm here in San Francisco at the San Francisco Botanical Garden. I have never gone to this place before, but we're gonna go inside right now and check it out. Let's go. This place is nuts. It, it reminds me of Jurassic Park. This is a bush sedge tree from New Zealand. This is a New Zealand Christmas tree at the Botanical Gardens in San Francisco, California. And look at the earth. It's wood chips, guys. They even have brought in wood chips and this is a huge pile of wood chips that they're using to give nutrients to the trees. And this is San Francisco where it's already wet and humid and rainy anyways, let alone if you're in a Vegas or Phoenix climate, you've gotta use the wood chips. Wood chips like this make trees that grow like this. Okay, we're entering into the wing of the botanical garden that's covering South Africa. Yeah, these guys are pretty amazing. These are one of my favorite flowers. What are they called? They're called a Hercules flower. And this is a Monterey pine. Amazing. And of course, I know I'm a broken record, but trees of that size grow in wood chips. That's what you need on your landscape and in your garden to grow things that become like this. And like that. Those trees look like dinosaur era. So here's the power of wood chips. Not only when you use wood chips in your landscape are there worms crawling everywhere, but there's some kind of a creature underneath the ground here, like in the movie Tremors, that's trying to get out. And the worms are all crawling away from this creature. Here it comes. What is underneath there? I'm a big fan of these trees that are very native to California. They're all on the coast on the one freeway. And uh, at the San Francisco Botanical Garden, they're really putting wood chips as an integral part of their landscape. And Everywhere you dig away at the ground, there's just worms coming out from every square inch of this place. And they know the power of the wood chips. All right, guys, we're gonna take a turn to the left and head into the bamboo forest. It's very scary in here. Ooh, it's so nice. some running water down below and they even put wood chips as the pathways and it's just incredible when you pull back the wood chips the amount of worms that are just all underneath the ground that build this place those worms build it some incredible bamboo. Yeah. We're 
we're here in the bamboo forest and this bamboo is really amazing when the wind blows through you can't feel any of the wind because we're blocked but you can hear the beautiful sounds of the bamboo wishing swishing you can hear the stalks hitting together We're in a different section of the garden now, and it's the walk of irises. Look at all these irises on the left and the right of the path. They look so nice. And they're everywhere. Everywhere, left and right. I want to show you guys this tree. Look at the size of the trunk and how it multi trunks up, and look at the canopy on this tree. This is called an interior live oak tree from Baja, California. And what's incredible, again, not to be a broken record or to beat the bush, but look at what's down below. Mulch of leaves, mulch of sticks, and then underneath all these leaves and sticks is the most incredible soil you've ever seen. And just every single scoop you get, you get worms with each scoop of soil. And so I'm telling you guys, you gardeners out there, if you're not putting wood chips against your trees like the oak tree, you're not going to have growth like this. This is so cool. This is saying that the uh, California Indians would use cattails in every way. The roots of the cattail steamed as a starchy vegetable, tender shoots eaten raw, flour and seed heads were roasted, the roots and pollen were made into a flower, and the baby baskets were lined with fluff to make them safe. And if I pan over this way, you can see how we go from cattails to a beautiful pathway and it's almost like we're hiking in the middle of a valley and the scenery is just fantastic. I really recommend coming here to the San Francisco Botanical Gardens. It is absolutely fantastic, world class. I had to share this part of the Botanical Garden with you guys, the ancient plant garden. And it's like a garden full of plants from the dinosaurs, the ancient plant garden, early Devonian, Pennsylvanian, Jurassic periods. Let's check out what some dinosaur plants look like. The crustaceous period. This is really cool with a nice Zen walkway that really looks amazing. give you guys a brief uh, look at the plants and then I'm gonna go enjoy it for myself you can push pause on the screen right now and check out the information plaque here and push pause on the screen and read this one this is worth the whole trip coming here So this is the crustaceous portion of the dinosaur gardens at the San Francisco Botanical Garden. And it's got some really incredible looking plant specimens and I want to share with you guys not only the stegosaurus filled with moss, but these uh, incredible, looks like a palm tree from a distance and it looks like it's called a, a soft tree fern from Australia maybe, is that what it's called? And if we look up top, you can see within how the leaves are born. Like a curly octopus tentacle. This one's got a bunch. One here. And a whole bunch in the bottom. That is so amazing. Here's what this guy is right here. Yeah. 
It's the soft tree fern from East Australia and the moss that grows up the base. Anyways, a really, really cool tree fern that's got some really amazing attributes.